Let me show you how I turned a couple glass bowls into these Pottery Barn dupes. Put one coat of spray paint and primer on the bowls. With the rub and buff, I was able to put on one layer and achieve the aged look that I wanted. Turn it over and then paint the bottom the other side of your bowls. I cut the ring off the pacifier and snapped a small piece of the shower curtain ring off and glued them. Here I used wax cubes, melted them down, and then you pour that into the bowl. For your wicks, you can get a kit off of Amazon and use the popsicle sticks with the hole to help make sure that your wicks stand up straight. And there you have it, light and enjoy. Separate the layers of a patterned paper napkin. Then cut the napkin to fit the diameter of your candle and gently press against the iron plate. Keep rolling until the candle is completely wrapped in the napkin. Fill a heat safe container with hot water. Place a taper candle in the hot water and let sit for 10 minutes. And then wrap the candle in some wax paper and press down on the middle of the candle and gently twist it into the shape that you want. Take painter's tape and tape off sections or stripes on a taper candle. Paint light coats of acrylic paint in the open sections of the candle. Let dry completely. I hope this inspired you to have some fun sprucing up ordinary taper candles. We're gonna start this project with a clay flower pot and I'm going to be painting my planter entirely with black paint. I'm going to be using some antique gold rub and buff. Give it kind of an antique patina look and I'm going to be painting the dowel all the way black. Cut down my dowel uh, sanding down the edge and I'm taking some twine and my hot glue gun to attach the twine to either side. I'm taking a piece of cardboard and I'm cutting it down into different strips. I'm going to be painting it black. Rub and buff again and I'm threading my twine through the hole at the bottom of the flower pot. Adhering it to the cardboard piece, I am taking some rope and I'm tying a knot. I hope this inspired you to try this Pottery Barn dupe for their bell wall decor. You want to open the tea light package and remove your tea lights. Pull gently on the wick. Place as many tea lights as you think you need in the saucepan and bring the water to a boil. Pour enough wax on the parchment paper to surround your cookie cutter and then set your cookie cutter on the wax and press down. Fill in the cookie cutters almost to the very top. Now the wicks on the Dollar Tree tea lights are really short, so I waited to add them to the top layer of the wax. I added the faux snow to the melted wax and poured that onto the very top layer. You can pop off the excess wax, place my cookie cutters on a Pyrex pie plate. I took a length of garland and made it into a, a wreath shape and set it inside the tray. What a pretty little display. All right, so we're gonna start with a base from Dollar Tree. Go ahead and cover this entire thing with this frosted glass spray paint. We are going to be using a pail and we are going to be hot gluing this on top. So now we're gonna start with some ribbon. Now you wanna make sure that you get the hot glue all the way around and then slowly secure the ribbon. And I've come down to using two of these leaves and then I'm probably gonna be using some of the decorative berries. And once I've poured the whole bag of the rocks into the vase, detach the solar light top from the base and we are going to be placing this in the center of the vase it's a beautiful, cute, decorative solar lantern that I'm really excited is living out on my screened in porch now. Take each embroidery hoop and screw the screws tight, then paint them brown. You're going to take some grapevine, you're going to attach it with some brown pipe cleaners, and some pine cones, attach them with hot glue. So I selected some ornaments and start gluing those on near the pine cones. Add a couple of pheasant feathers put three command hooks, and I hung my three wreaths. Let's gather some oranges out of the refrigerator. We're first gonna cut some short pieces of rosemary, and we're going to attach them to the cone with our U-shaped floral pins. Now we're gonna place longer pieces of rosemary all around the bottom part of the tree. Now that our tree is totally covered in rosemary, it's time to add our little cuties. I'm using basic toothpicks from the kitchen cupboard, and I'm putting the pointy end into the tree. I've started with a clear vase, 
and I'm going to place about 12 to 15 little cuties inside the vase. I then am going to fill the vase with water. I always start with a base of greenery, then I'm going to add some variegated boxwood. Lastly, we're gonna add our flowers. For our last project, I took oranges and dried them in a dehydrator. I'm just gonna use a hot glue gun, glue the cinnamon stick to the middle of the dried grapefruit slice, add a piece of rosemary, and maybe a little bit of star anise. I then take a wire, put it through the rind of the citrus, and twist it. Now it's time to attach these to the wreath. And there you have three great projects you can create out of fresh citrus. To begin my project, I started with some mini terracotta pots and I began painting them with DecoArts craft acrylic paint in the shade white. I wanted to paint the outside as well as the inside and the bottom of the pots. I came in with some Country Chic Paint Metallic Ink Accent Cream in the shade Pocket Watch and I rubbed it all over the outside surfaces of the bells. And then you can wipe it away with just a clean piece of paper towel. Once that was dry, I came in with some sandpaper and I just sanded off the edges a little bit. Next, I took some canvas cotton cord and I cut off three pieces, pulled them around in a loop and tied a knot and I braided it down and I finished the end of the braid off with a knot. I added some crochet ribbon around the bottom of the belt and then I hot glued in some embellishments once this was complete, I added them to my cotton string, add some jingle bells by knotting them onto the string. When complete, I hung them here in my home, and I love how easy these bells were to make. Take any glass vase or jar container that you have and layer the bottom with a couple of inches of greenery. Angle the ends of the greenery toward the outside of the glass. Pull a couple of long lengths of plastic wrap and start crumpling it into a bunch. The third layer consists of fresh cranberries. Just pile them on top of that plastic wrap layer. Take a pitcher of water and pour over the top of all the layers. If you like, you can add a tea light to the top of the layers or add additional greenery over the top layer of cranberries. This is a perfect holiday display centerpiece for anywhere in your home. So we're gonna start with the folded side down, and I'm going to do one hot glue line across the base, and then I'm gonna go across in a, like a really thin zigzag formation towards the opening. So we're gonna take our next bag, we are going to lay it right on top. So we're gonna continue doing this until all seven layers have been secured, cutting a V formation, so starting at the center, and going outward. So we're just gonna make two little triangles. And you can make this as big or as small as you'd like. So now that these cuts have been made, we are gonna fan this out and we are gonna join the two ends together. See how pretty this is? And there you have it. Here is my finished product of my rustic paper bag snowflakes.